Hello, I'm in Bridlington on the east coast of Yorkshire. Came here to build some sandcastles, dodge seagull shit, eat fish and chips, and to play some darts because it's the weekend of the ADC tour events, five, six, seven, and eight. They start tomorrow, Saturday the 20th of May. I've travelled up uh, with a missus and daughter to spend a bit of family time by the beach. Fucking three hour drive, bit of a nightmare, but we're here now. Forecast for the weekend's good, so it should be pretty good. Uh, there's four events, uh, two on a Saturday, two on a Sunday, uh, £12.50 into each event. So even if you're completely shit, you still get a full weekend of darts for 50 quid, which is a bargain. Um, there's a lot of good prize money up for grabs, and the winner of each event gets a chance to play in the Moda Super Series, live on TV and YouTube. Uh, but you are going to have to get through a seriously good field of players if you want to do that. Uh, for me personally, I'm playing pretty well. Uh, I mean, probably the best form I've been in for a long time, actually. After a shit start to the year with uh, illness, with January and February, and then I had some issues releasing my darts. Um, not dartitis, just um, some timing issues. Uh, the last month's been really good. I've been practicing well, particularly the last week or two. I've been uh, well above my normal running average. Uh, not world class by any means, but sort of 75 uh, to 85. Mid 70s and mid 80s consistently. If I can play like that, if I can relax. And I can get a decent draw, then I might be able to pick up a few suckers and uh, maybe progress for a few rounds. Here we get on. Uh, I'll keep you up to date. Um, I'll do bits and bobs, take some pictures and some videos and whatnot over the weekend, and I'll post them in a video. Catch you later. Hello, so after a buy in round one, I played uh, Bailey White, I think his name is, in the second round. Uh, it was a bit of a shit start to the match for both of us, uh, really. Uh, absolutely terrible in the first two legs. Really, loads of crap scores, didn't do very well at all. Bit of a shame, really, because I've been playing well, like I said, coming into this. So, like a low 60 average is pretty poor, pretty pathetic. Uh, second two legs were a little bit better. Um, played a bit better in the second two legs. Had a few shots of doubles, but didn't take them out. And he took his out, and uh, he ended up winning 4-0. So it's a disappointing start. Um, probably an opponent that I probably could have beaten normally. Um, but on we go, on to the next one. So Tour Event 5 was won by David Evans. He beat Leighton Bennett in the final, booked his place on the Modus. Uh, he was probably one of the favourites coming into the event. And the first women's event was won by the legendary Dieter Hedman. Too strong for the rest of the field on the day. Uh, it was a good turnout for the women's, which is very promising. Hello. Event 2. Had a bye again in the round 1, preliminary round, whatever you want to call it. Uh, round two, I played a uh, young lad, Ryan O'Connor. I know he's a, he was a better than he played against me. He missed a few doubles. Uh, I was a lot better than my first game. Still not up to the standard that I've been playing at recently. My first nine still pretty poor. Uh, a lot of 41s in there. Some some shit scoring. There was some good stuff in there. So the signs of life. Looks like it might be a tough draw next for me though. Into the last 64, might be uh, Jim McEwen coming up. So that'd be a tough one. Uh, but we're still in and we've improved a little bit so hopefully we can put in a good performance against a uh, gym or whoever we play next hello <coughs> so it was jim McEwen in the end that we played in the last 64 and he beat me 4-3 uh, i managed to find myself 2-0 ahead he missed a few doubles in the first leg and i pinned double 12 first dart after a good setup uh, and then the second leg he missed a few more doubles and i checked out one one four to go two and on the head, but then um, he was always um, outscoring me in each leg, so I was trying to hang in there with him. Unfortunately, I've had a problem all day with my first nine; they've been very low. I've been hitting a lot of forty ones and thirties, twenty sixes, and then started to get going more as the legs have progressed. So I need to address that tomorrow. That's something I need to work on. Uh, so last four three in the end in the last sixty four. 
uh, Jimmy Kimmins a, a nice guy. I had a little, a little bit of a chat with him afterwards. Um, so, but I'm, I'm disappointed in the day. Overall, I don't mind losing. It's just that I haven't performed anywhere near the way I'm, I'm capable of. So I need to address that tomorrow. Play better. Probably start better in the legs. And just get a bit more control of my arm. Uh, hasn't felt quite right today. So we'll see you tomorrow. Event 6 winner was James Richardson. Following up his win in Manchester last month, he's a top, top player and a good bloke. Well done, James. And Dieter did the double, winning the second women's event to go with her victory earlier in the day. Would anybody be able to stop her on day 2? So after a chill day evening by the sea with my family, a takeaway and a good night's sleep, I was ready and raring to go on day two. I knew I'd need to improve my scoring, especially early on in legs, but I was optimistic I could perform better in the remaining two events. Hello, so I've just played my uh, second round match in event seven. Event seven, I uh, got a buy again in round one and ended up on board one against um, Pugs, Christopher Wickenden. He's a great lad, great player. Uh, we're doing well at the moment. Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't play as well as I wanted to against him. I'm still an improvement, I think, on yesterday. I'm not sure what the average was. I'll have to have a look. Uh, probably high, high 60s. But got off to some slow starts again in, in um, a lot of the legs. I managed to take one leg with a semi four in uh, two darts, treble four in double sixteen. But other than that, two inconsistent still. So we've got one more shot at this uh, event eight coming up uh, later this afternoon, and uh, we'll see how we get on in that one. Event seven was won by Adam Mould. Adam was a semi finalist and a runner up on day one, and now a winner on day two. Talk about consistency to go that deep three consecutive events in a row with such a tough field is a fantastic achievement and a testament to the talent that Adam has and on day two in the women's tour we saw the arrival of Lisa Ashton and she was in scintillating form blasting her way through the field to take event three with some seriously big averages throughout the day and that's it we're done I uh, didn't get a bye this time got drew in round one against Adam Jenkinson I wasn't familiar with him before playing him, uh, but it was way too good for me. It was my best game of the weekend, to be fair. Still not at the standard I've been playing it recently, but things did improve quite a bit. It wasn't good enough to beat Adam, though. Fair play to him, he's a good player. Uh, so I'm going to go and spend some time in the sun with the missus by the beach uh, and my daughter. Uh, have a little reflect over the next few days, and then I'll drop the video and um, yeah, do a review of the event. See you later. And Chris Wickenden won the final men's event of the weekend. Pucks took down event eight and it was thoroughly deserved. I'm absolutely chuffed for him. It has been coming. He's been doing all the right things lately and he's going to go from strength to strength. And Lisa Ashton matched Dieter's feet from day one by winning both events on day two. No surprise there really. She is a class act and she was always going to be tough to beat. I've had a few days to reflect on the weekend and it was lovely to have my family in Bridlington with me. I really enjoyed spending time with them at the end of each day and we decided to stay an extra night so we could enjoy the sea air for a bit longer and we were blessed with some gorgeous weather which made it all the more enjoyable. The ADC did a chop job again with the weekend. I've never seen competitions run so smoothly. To get through two men's events and two women's events each day can't be easy but you wouldn't know it. Another very good venue. Great boards, great setups, amateur darts has never been in such a good place. And as for my performance, uh, although I was moaning a little bit, I walked away disappointed not to win more games. I'm still happy with where I'm at. My expectations were a little bit higher for this one, purely because I've been playing so much better of late. There's plenty to be positive about. I'm always going to be restricted with time to practice. I've got no ambition to conquer the darts world. I'm just a bloke with a full-time job and family commitments, like most dart players out there. I do these tournaments just to see if I can compete with some of these boys, and I will, I promise. I'll see you again soon. Please take a second to like and subscribe. It means a lot. Happy darting. Much love. Goodbye.